In our session, we will be discussing about trim and extend command and also the trim and uh, extend commands advanced option. So the trim command is something which you can use for trimming the object or cutting the object with respect to the boundary or the cutting edge. Just like that, the extend command you can use to extend your drawing object with respect to the boundary or the selected reference. So if you go to the modify panel, there you can find trim. If you select trim, the first prompt which you need to understand is the cutting edge. If you see this trim case, I need to select the cutting edge. This is the boundary. Go for enter. Then you can see the object which you need to trim. This object you can directly trim by selecting this. This is the first case. In second case you see the boundary is not connected with the object. So, but in the first case the boundary is directly connected to the edge or the reference. So here, how can I trim the top or bottom side with respect to this? So same trim command you can execute and you can select the boundary, go for enter and right click and you need to choose the edge for extending. That means the virtually this will be extended till this and you can execute the trim after that. So this is the second case which you can use for the trim. And in case of extend, you can extend the boundaries with respect to the virtual condition or actual condition. For example, if you go to extend and you select the object boundaries, go for enter and object to extend. This is the simple case. But in the second case, you can see either this boundary or this boundary both are not meeting. If you want to extend this case, you can go for extend but you have to consider this and this both as the boundary and virtually you can intersect this by going for edge, extend, then you can execute the extend operation. This is the extend case. And also this you can see for the extend case as well. I am going for extend and I am selecting this as my boundary, go for enter. And within your extend also you can execute trim operation. If I am going for right click and edge and I am going for virtually extending this and you can go for shift and you can trim your boundaries as well. But for this you need to understand that your object type should must be geometrically referenced. For example, if I will modify this particular case and I am moving or copying one arc, let us say, this is my first object, this is my second object and this is my third object, let us say. Or maybe I can little bit decrease this for creating a boundary, this is the case. So this both of the edge are not intersecting. I am going for extend and selecting this as my extend locations and I am going for edge, extend and I can trim within this also by pressing shift. You can see directly this will be trimmed out. That means in trim you can press shift for extend and in extend you can press shift to trim. In case of trim command also you can extend your object. Let us say I am going for trim and I am selecting this as my boundary and then when it is prompting for trimming the object after enter you can go for shift and you can extend this also. That means in both the cases trim and extend you can use extend and trim continuously within trim you can use extend by shift pressing the shift key or within extend you can use trim by pressing the shift key. So both are independent of the command. That means once you know trim you can execute extend as well. 
and we'll look into some advanced case where we can understand the specific case if you see this trim advanced option and this is looking like 2d but this is not a 2d if you can confirm that by going to view and isometric view you can see this particular object is not in the same plane just like this this is at elevated height and in this case also you can use both trim if you need to trim this boundary with respect to this you can also use this I am going for trim I am going for home trim and I am selecting this as my boundary I am going for enter and you can find through right click a advanced option known as project which is used for 3D interface trimming you go for project and go for UCS user coordinate system and if you select the top side the top side will be trimmed and you select this this side will be trimmed but these are not in the same plane and if you go to the view and top view you can find the operation is done with respect to this even though this is virtually not intersecting the trim out operation happened in 2D just like that the extent also this is in the 3D interface directly you can confirm this after visualizing you can extend this boundary as you can see this boundary is not extended so you go through this particular drawing you can see this is not extended and you can directly do extend in this interface also so the 3D can also be extended in 2D interface you go for extend EX through command or you can also select your system for entering I am selecting this as the boundary enter and then you can go for right click and project and you can go for UCS and you can project your boundaries with respect to this condition this can be altered exactly go to extend these are my boundaries and go to right click project and this is UCS and if you zoom it this can be extended till that boundary this can be extended till that boundary you can confirm this from the top view and the extend is done so in this some typical advanced case you can work in 3D irrespective of your 2D module